Hey there, friends. Welcome back to the Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. And this is the only Bible study that is COVID-free. This is a COVID-free environment right here. So glad to have you. And today we're looking at Psalm 145, verses 7 and 8. I hope you'll join me by turning your Bible to that passage if you can. If you can't, I'll be glad to read it for you. Just let me remind you that next week I'll be off. There will be no Daily Dose Radio uh, broadcast next week. Next week in America is Thanksgiving. So I'm going to be traveling, uh, going to see some family. So I hope that you'll be uh, here with your family if you're in America, that you'll be celebrating Thanksgiving with your family. And then uh, the week after, we'll return and we're heading. We're proceeding down the last few Psalms uh, to get to Psalm 150, and that'll be the last Psalm that we treat in the Psalter. So I hope that you will join me for every one of them leading up to the week before Christmas. And then, of course, at Christmas, we take a two-week break, Christmas and then New Year's, and then we'll come back and finish out the Psalms through the month of January, and then we'll break in the month of February. So a lot coming up, and then uh, we'll jump back in and start all over again in March with Psalm 1, verse 1. Today we're looking at verses 7 and 8, and let me read those for you. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. All right. So now we're looking at, again, some more of this choir practice. We're praising him, and you'll notice again how we're extolling his virtues and his um, his values, his person, his character. It's all being extolled here. His name there in verses 1 and 2 was extolled. His greatness, his works, his mighty acts there in verses 3 and 4. His majesty, his wondrous works, his terrible acts, and his greatness there in 5 and 6. And today, the great goodness of the Lord is declared. His righteousness is declared. And then look at verse 8. In verse 8, we have another truth statement. Well, we'll get to that in just a moment. We'll, let's start here in verse 7. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness. Who, who is the they? The they there. Well, we talked about men there in uh in verse 6, so that's an antecedent to the they. It could be the men, or it could be the generations, the generations that shall praise thy works to one another. It could be the generations, but I've, I'm going to vote for the men here. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness. Why would men who speak of the might of terrible acts now suddenly utter the memory of great goodness? Well, because God calls, causes the rain to fall on the just and the unjust. His great goodness is manifest to all. But also I believe that because the psalmist says, I will declare thy greatness, he's, he's helping these men to understand that the terrible acts are, the might of his terrible acts are a good thing, and declare his greatness, his goodness, his kindness, and all, all the rest. His righteousness then is revealed. So they, being the men, are coming into the tribe of the church. They're becoming a part of those that praise God. And so now they are uttering the memory of great goodness, goodness of God to them in this life and the goodness of God that's been demonstrated to them in Christ Jesus. And shall sing of thy righteousness. So they join the choir. They're a part of the heavenly choir now. And then notice verse 8, and I'm running out of time, so let me... Go ahead and hit verse 8 here. The Lord is gracious. Again, truth statement. We had great is the Lord, greatly to be praised there in verse 3. Here we have the Lord is gracious. So that's a truth statement about the Lord. Full of compassion, another truth statement. Slow to anger, another truth statement. And of great mercy. So gracious, compassionate, slow to anger, and merciful. All of those will fit into the category of these things that we're praising him for. So join me again tomorrow. We'll look at verses 9 and 10, and I'll make a few more comments there about verse 8 here on Daily Dose Radio.